Welcome back, everyone. Today, another update on the mono board project. I've been working in uh, Fusion 360, just trying to get the mechanical design progressed along. So I just wanted to give you a run through of where I'm at. If you're new to my videos, I try and bring you along through the process with these uh, projects. So they do stretch out a little bit, but I'm sort of hoping that along the way, uh, you pick up some interesting learning and also if you've got any comments to make that can help me make this a better project then I certainly welcome them. Please do make them and I'll get back in contact with you. Okay well let's have a look at it now. Okay, so let's take a look at where I've got to so far. I've been working in Fusion 360, just trying to get an idea of how this board's going to go together. First of all, I've modelled the actual hub motor and tyre, so pretty much got that sorted out. And then started looking at the actual frame itself. Plan to make this out of rectangular steel tube, looking at 40 by 20 mil rectangular tube let me just rotate that round and got all the clearances figured out exactly where the hub motor is going to fit and then uh, started looking at the actual uh, mounts the mounts are actually designed to fit into the frame you'll notice there's cutouts in the frame where those mounts just slide up inside and uh, there'll be some screw holes to screw into that block. I'm planning to get that block machined probably from aluminium and I'll have to send that out. I can't do that uh, in-house. Uh, as far as the frame goes, uh, it's a fairly straightforward frame. So I'll be having a go at welding that up myself. I think I'll probably just do mild steel to start off with. Uh, down the track if this all works out then I may well get a frame welded up uh, out of aluminium but as a starting point I'll uh, give it a go myself so yeah just putting the mounts uh, in the actual frame like that and the axle for the hub motor fits into those that's the the basic frame been looking at the amount of space that I have in either end here and there should be enough room for batteries in one end and in the other end the drive circuitry and it looks like the battery management module will need to go there as well and because this is a tubular frame be looking at bringing the cables through here and that's one thing I do need to look at with the hub mount I need to allow enough space through here to bring the cables thinking or bring the positive cable down one side uh, negative cable down through the other side and the cables from the battery management module to that go to each particular cell will need to come up through here as well so probably half up one side half up the other side i dare say so started looking at the battery pack just modeling how that may um, go together early days but it's a 10s battery pack and looking at four in parallel so thinking i will create a tray that will have the batteries mount on there there'll be two layers of batteries here and another two here now each of those four batteries will be in parallel as well so looking at how i can actually mount this up and bring the links across to actually link these up in parallel and at this point in time i'm thinking i'll print something up using the 3d printer with a dividing element in the center here some of the bridging links will connect between here and here and the other ones will probably connect between the other ends of the cells underneath with an insulated layer so uh, just working that up now 
and hoping to have that done uh, by the end of the weekend but I really just wanted to map this out to make sure that there's sufficient room there to actually mount all the batteries in there and it's looking good. I don't believe there'll be any issues at the other end to contain the control electronics and the uh, battery management module but yeah just looking to model that all up as, as closely as possible. Okay, so that's a bit of an update of where I'm at with the design of the actual unit. Okay, so cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.